Good morning. Um, my name is Doug Ackermann. I'm from Zegger. And I'm here to explain a little bit of the benefits of something we've done together with ST in the past or in the, in the recent future. ST introduced on this show a new STM32 microcontroller based on the Cortex M4 with an integrated LCD controller. And this integrated LCD controller also features some nice features which we can use with our software to accelerate operation, um, making it possible to have even high quality graphics on a Cortex M device. Um, talking about our company, we're a small company based close to Düsseldorf. Um, we have 30 employees right now. We have an office in Boston and worldwide distribution. The company has founded about 20 years ago by Rolf Seger, who's still with the company and actually the technical brain behind the company. Um, our intention is to provide a tool set for the application engineer so the application engineer can concentrate on his application and does not have to go through all the hassles um, creating, for example, scheduler, um, creating drivers and stuff like that. So what a, what a firm a developer wants to have to actually develop his application is a proven artos and middleware. Um, he needs a debugger who is, which is capable to debug the artos. Um, a profiling viewer to um, get the scheduling right. A reliable trace probe to um, connect with the target system and debug on the target system. And when it comes to prototyping and testing prototypes, you will probably have simple to use production tools. Because in some cases, it's a bit different to have it connected to the debugger and download via debugger instead of um, using the actual production process. So to cover all this, or most of this, we have a couple of products, which are a little bit different. As you can see, we have three types of products. One is the middleware with the RTOS, GUI, file system, IP stack, USB stack, and so on. We have our development tools with the J-Link. Um, J-Link Plus, J-Link Ultra, Ultra Plus, all drop in replacements with additional features, or faster, or whatever you like. And at the and the third part, um, product type is the, flash, the production tools. These are based on the Jailing technology, but they are capable of being integrated into different production environments. Um, they allow standalone operation and stuff like that. They can also be used in service environments. Um, but yeah, why we think we are good is now the next slide. Um, we see all our products from two perspectives. We are on one hand the developer of our products, on the other hand we also use our products in our own products. So if we have the Artos middleware for example, we debug it with our own debug tools and we use our middleware to create the firmware of our debug tools. So the J-Link is running an Amboss, MUSB, so the USB stack, and the Pro version also adds an IP stack. Um, same goes for the production tools. The production tools include our software. And in the end, if you look at our production tools and the debug tools, the debug tools are used to debug themselves. They are used to debug the um, programming tools. And the programming tools are used in our company to produce themselves and our development tools. So we always see what you possibly might want because we use it on our own. And this results in higher reli uh, sorry, high reliability, high usability, and in our case, high performance because we come from the 8-bit world and we always try to optimize things. And that's what we're, where we are really good at. So we wanted to talk about the MVN. So um, <coughs> MVN is a small footprint quality graphics system with a lot of features. I'll just name a few. So what becomes even more important every day is with globalization that you are capable of using multiple languages, multiple scripts in your system. Um, we offer a variety of fonts right from, from the start you can use. Um, 
to use additional fonts or different font cuts, stuff like that. We have a font converter, which allows to convert the fonts into C code or into a loadable format. We also support true type and monotype. Um, we have multi-language support, so you can um, load the resource file into your system and use this resource file to actually change the language of your system. So you just say, now I'm working in English and any widget is updated to use the English text. And then you can, at another time, when the user says, okay, now I want to work in Italian, you can simply say, now use Italian and the Italian scripts are used. And the same goes for Chinese. So you can also say, now I want to use Chinese because we use Unicode fonts in the resource files. Um, we also include um, a tool for bitmap conversion. You can use bitmaps in C code, which is faster, but probably not as good um, in um, uh, memory usage. And you can also use different formats like JPEG and so on. Um, we have a simulation included. The simulation has a big advantage because when you create your system, you always have the problem, it can be your hardware or it can be your software and has the possibility to run your software on two different systems, being your target system and the PC. You can always check back whether it's the software or the hardware. You run the same software on the PC, see what the result is, and then you can say, okay, this problem has is probably something to do with LCD timing or with um, some bug in the controller or whatever it is, because it does not appear on the PC, so, so the difference there is the hardware. It has to be a hardware problem. The other, of, um, the other advantage of the simulation is you can simply go create your GUI and go to your marketing team and present them, so this is what it's going to look like without even taking care about the hardware. You don't need, even need to have the hardware ready, so you can start use, creating your user interface before you have your actual hardware. Um, we also have a GUI builder tool, so you can use our widgets to um, create your um, user interface using an, a graphical tool. Um, we have widgets originally mostly with PC look and feel, but we um, added some um, to yeah, complement the touch screen based devices like um, smartphones or tablets. Um, we're running a window manager to organize all these widgets. And one of the biggest advantages in combination with ST is that we support the new ST DMA 2D controller. Um, this is part of the LCD controller of the new ST device. And I'm going to explain what it does and how we use it. So the features of this DMA controller, first of all, is simple DMA transfer use a memory portion and write it to another memory area without putting load on the CPU. Basic DMA transfer, everybody knows it. Um, the next thing is um, this controller is capable of doing a conversion when he transfers. So you have a lookup table which you can preload with certain values and you have your memory area which is um, yeah, using indexes and then you can simply say this index should be this value, this index should be this value and so on. So you can do a conversion when you start the DMA transfer. Um, the next thing what you can do is do some alpha blending. So you have the memory area where you want to copy and you have the memory, memory area from where you copy. You simply can um, use uh, the DMA to transfer with alpha blending into the new area. So it blends both areas into each other. And finally, another good feature is you have DMA transfer of rectangle areas. So it works like this. You have, usually you have one memory area and you copy it to another. But if you have this on the screen, you have one full line, the next full line. But sometimes you only want to have a little picture which you want to transfer. So you have an area which you do not want to copy. And this is actually possible with this, with this DMA controller because it allows to set an offset. You can set a length and an offset and then you have a rectangular area. So we are using this in a number of places. This is a, not a complete list, but um, 
you'll probably get get the picture where it is used. Um, one of the features we are using is a color conversion. So if you have different color modes in your graphics, you're loaded into the system. For example, if you have a 24-bit JPEG with color conversion, um, and you have um, your LCD, which runs with a certain um, uh, type of color scheme, then you have to convert this. And this can actually be done with the DMA here, because of the lookup table. You, you fill the lookup table with the color conversion, and then you can run the DMA transfer to make the color conversion for you. Um, this color conversion feature also allows you, if you have to switch the LCD or LCT type because the old LCD is no longer available, and it's fairly easy to go to the next LCD and um, pertain the colors you've used pre uh, previously. So when you change LCDs, usually the colors change. You don't want to have that, so you need some means to convert the colors. And if you have some sort of Color, color conversion table here, it's a little bit easier to swatch the, uh, switch the LCD in this case. Um, we use it for drawing bitmaps, be it high, high color or index. Um, we use it for copy operations. Well, copy operations is natural DMA. Um, we use it for fading algorithms, um, for alpha blending, anti-aliased fonts, and so on. Um, so let me give me give you an example how this works on drawing the index bitmaps. Um, as, I, as I said before, the um, DMA2D allows to load values into a lookup table. So in case of an index bitmap, you're loading your color table into the lookup table. Then you tell um, tell the DMA where you, the picture is and where it shall go, and you start the DMA transfer. And at that time, the CPU is done. So you can do a, a, something else with the CPU, or you can put it to sleep to save power. So that's basically how it works, and that's what we implemented in our software. So when we are, when we are talking about the software, um, there's a package provided by ST now. So our MBIN is provided by ST to ST customers for free. So you get a library from ST. Um, you have to request this library from your local FIE or um, anybody else. It's, it might be distributed via a web page at a later point, but right now you have to contact your FIE. Um, this features dynamically configurable libraries, so you can connect any display you want, uh, which is supported by the display controllers included with it. This includes a linear driver, which supports the um, new STM32 F4, but it also probably includes the, um, the flex color driver, which is for serial um, LCD controllers, like they've been used on the previous STM32 kits. So I can use it for both kits, and um, yeah. Even if you have a different LCD controller, you still might be able to use it with these um, drivers because they are very generic and allow a lot of configurations and all this dynamically, so you don't need the source code in this case, but can um, switch the parameters there. Um, it includes the MN Pro bundle, which includes our anti-aliasing, memory devices, and window manager widgets. Um, the memory devices is um, a means to have flicker-free animations in small areas of the screen. So, for example, if you have a needle in a gauge you want to move, um, you don't want to redraw the full gauge or the full screen, actually. You only want to redraw the small needle, which changes. And to allow this flicker-free, we have the memory devices. And that's included in the package as T provides here. So, Support naturally in this case is done in first level by ST. So your local FIE had some training at our house, or a lot of them at least, a couple of weeks ago, and they did fairly well. So I think you're covered in this case. Yeah. So that's what ST offers here in this case. Um, you might have interest if it goes beyond. There are a couple of questions arising. So. If I need a driver for my LCD controller, which is not delivered by ST, well, we have other drivers than those um, delivered by ST, so we are able to 
um, add to the package and you can purchase the driver from us. Um, if you need source code, if it is company policy or you need it for reference, for example, for certification purposes, if you want to use it for comprehensive debugging, so if you can see what's done with the parameters, it's a lot easier to debug. So um, that's another um, reason to actually use the source code in this case. Or if you want to adapt the, so the original code. Um, and finally, what if I want to have the support from the Envin developers directly? Everything in this case is possible. We are always taking in mind that you are using an SC controller, so everything gets a huge discount. In this case, compared to our original list prices, um, how this works is um, displayed on our web page on the address shown here below. Um, if you have any more questions which are not covered during the show, um, you can contact us um, via telephone, via email. So for commercial questions at sales for general info via info and if you have um, if you need some samples stuff like that we have a very dedicated and um, technical minded homepage at www.zega.com um, so that's everything from my part if you have any questions right now um, please go ahead and ask if you have questions later we are down this um, way, a couple of booths at 4226. Um, so that's from my side. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please go ahead.